G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where we are back in Hardcore Specialist coming into day 3 of our intel- almost said perception again, that's been a long time since that, into our intellect week. You can see how much I'm like, it's rubbing against all of the fibre of my being to be playing this seal tree but here we are and we're doing the best that we can. And actually, admittedly, it's not going as badly as I anticipated. Traded Potato having a stun button I could buy on day, well, day two, I ended up getting it, but having it in the first round of trading updates was a godsend. So I do actually have a stun button to try and spec into, uh, but I'm not particularly thrilled about the prospect of what's coming up for me. Nothing is really exciting me uh, about there for what's coming up in this skill tree. And there is actually one thing I was thinking about before when I was out and about out in the town going for a walk for my government mandated fitness so I don't turn into too much of a jelly bean. I, um, I was thinking to myself, because I'm obsessed with seven days, does intellect allow me to unlock mod crafting? Because I feel like that might be something that actually might tip the scales, not all the way, but a little bit more to intellect being worthwhile. So for example, if I want to make like the repulsor mod for my stun button, I have to get tech junkie. Okay, what about so like, what about like a weighted head mod? So I have to find this, so, hmm. That's a little bit frustrating. I feel like that would be something that would be really good to have in the intellect tree, like the ability to craft the mods. You can't do that in any other skill tree, clearly, but if it's the, the skill tree of like intelligence, like building yourself, your work benches and stuff, opening up the mods to some sort of perk, I think would make it a, a fair bit more viable, actually, to be honest. But that is for another time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will take my bike stuff and the gubs that I need to make the rest of my bike, because that is my mission for the start of the day. I gotta get cracking. Oh, I've realized it's got an anvil in here as well. How did I forget about that when I was putting my Forgy Boy on last night? There you go, have that instead. Split up you guys and keep your smelting away. Might have some more forged iron. So I actually have all the things I need uh, that I need to make myself my bicycle, except for one acid and a couple of bits of oil. In fact, while I'm at it, I'll grab that wood that I had to start with. I'll grab you and I'll quickly just upgrade you because I would like to have those full blocks. You don't have to break down like the half blocks to get them to be full blocks again. Just gonna upgrade them and they'll pop back to being a full block once over. So now that's looking good. I can bang a door on the front of my little house here so no inadvertent zombies can stumble in and give me a real run for my money. You can go like that. So I think I have everything I need. I have what I need for the bike chassis. Do I have what I need for the wheel? I didn't need like duct tape, did it? Nah, so it's just the oil and the acid. Okay, cool bananas. I'm way down with a lot of gubs, but it's all right. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have some wheels to pedal my way around with. I have found acid before. I'll quickly check the kitchen of my own house to make sure I didn't leave it in a cupboard down here, which I do sometimes because I know that acid is reasonably valuable. Any of you guys got anything in you? No. Okay, that's okay. Not the end of the world. I'll find it somewhere. I'm not super thrilled about the prospect of having to break down everything in the world to find some oil, though I know the cars do give it to me, so try and keep your eye on the horizon case there are some Muppets trailing about in the bushes. Get any oil out of that? No, no oil out of there. Nance is annoyed me breaking down her boyfriend's car. It was a hunk of junk anyway, buddy. I did you a favor. Rolling around to the passenger seat of that thing is only gonna get you really messed up. There's some oil there. I just need one more, please. Come on, baby, hit me one more time. There you go, there you go, two oils. Now just one acid and we're laughing. Nance, it's all yours. I definitely think the past Josh was looking out for future Josh in at least a little bit of a way. I'm pretty sure I left some oil actually inside the gears in that kitchen because it was raining middle of the night and it was getting rather late and dicey. So I think I even left some of that behind then and there. Nothing in you, just get up and over the fence and into this area. So what I'll do, I'll quickly run in, I'll go to my workbench, I'll go here, I'll go make me the bicycle chassis. Please, it's going to take 30 seconds, but I need the wheel, which I can craft in my own hot little hands. We'll get inside, we'll have a scout around. Worst comes to worst, I'll see if Trader Potato wants to sell me some, but I'm reasonably confident there'll be some around here somewhere. Just got to track it down again. Nah, I was wrong. There is no acid around here, just a bunch of random garbage, but nothing particularly worthwhile. I think maybe the chemistry station might give me one. It gives me some other like random parts, not just straight out forged on like the other uh, workstations do. So worth a cheeky squiz. Uh, except that my bloody wrench just broke. Can I make a repair kit? 
What do you need? Duct tape and forged iron. Well, I have glue and I have some cloth fragments somewhere. If there's any furniture for me to break down that would come in handy right about now. You. Nope. There you go. There's one there. Duct tape, make you, and then make the repair kit straight afterwards. Repair kit, make that one, and fix up my wrench. I will find what I need come hell or high water. Nah, the chemistry station didn't give me what I needed. That's okay. While I'm here, um, there is these two wall safes in here that I neglected last time. I didn't have any lock picks, but now I have a couple. I'm not in too much of a rush. I'm trying to get the bike as quick as possible, I know, but I'm not really pushing through as much as normal. It's, it, kind of the problem is that I suppose what I should be doing is looking for the other traders because the insulate tree is so heavily weighted into like the shopping aspect, you no know, bartering, spending money, making money, that kind of thing. Maybe if I find some other traders, I've got to say, can you get in there and stop using dry spaghetti to try and pick the lock, please? Ah, maybe if I go find some other traders, they'll have some mods to sell me or anything worthwhile. I don't know. I'm about to use all of my lockpicks on this one safe. There you go. There's the zeros. Thank you. What are you going to give me? Another tier 3 bloody boy, you're worth a bit, so alright, fair enough then. That was a lot of lockpicks I just lost. Oh, thank god. That was my last one. That was my very last lockpick, but we got in there for a tier 2 bow. I mean, I've got a tier 1 and a molly, so alright, fair play to you lad. I will scrap you and use that one instead. Even use the wood from its forefather to repair the new one. Make sure you're loaded. Alright. Nice. Well, let's get out of here then. We'll grab our bike chassis and go see Trady and see what he's got for me. Because if he's got just like, what, a couple of asses to sell me, I'm more than happy to throw a couple of coins his way. If Train Direct actually wants to be useful for a change, I feel like that needs to be rewarded and encouraged so it might be useful again in the future. Make sure we grab that bike chassis before we leave. There's nothing in you. No, nah, okay. All right. Let's get out of here then. Trady is just around the corner, so not too much of a shindig over around the block. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my bike up and running. And then, like, there is this major road cutting through my town. Now, I explained in uh, in the last week that those major roads, like those highways, usually lead to another town. What have you got for me? We've got eye candy, health bar. So you've got to use them most of the time. Some red tea and some hackers. Hmm, nothing really exciting me in there. I know I did turn down, like, the shock candy. Yeah, what do you want? I want you to have some acid for me, please. Not to throw in your face, but to use for my own reasons and you don't have any. Dang it, you're always just such a letdown, aren't you there, big boy? Um, right. All right, I'm going to quickly check your kitchen because maybe you have some left behind. I'll find out to get that going. But yeah, I think my priority needs to be cycling to other towns, finding hopefully where there might be another trade of potatoes somewhere and taking off from there and just going on a shopping bonanza. Get it, loser. We're going shopping. Before I leave, I will grab a job from him. He's got a buried supplies quest out to the west, which is outside of town, but it is kind of the closest one. Uh, nothing else in here is really getting my jimmies rustled, so... Alright, I'll take like that one. It's a deal. Cheers, buddy. I'll go dig that up for you in just a little bit. Hopefully, being out in the boonies, it probably won't be on the middle of a tarmac road this time around. Fingers crossed for that one. Uh, so I guess now I just need to go raiding as many kitchens as I can, try and find some acid. I'm sure I've seen some before somewhere, I just don't know where I put it, and that's my bad. Just checking every, like, little nook and cranny I can along the way back home to hopefully come across something useful along the journey. Speaking of things that are useful, the stun button is not uh, working out to be one of them. It's still taking a lot of work to get what I need done. Jiggle ya, jiggle ya more. Nope. Oh, thank God. It gets the job done eventually. It's just not nearly as quick or as efficient as I would like it to be. I don't feel confident going into battle with it. Nothing there. There is something up the tippy top there, though. What have you got? Sneaky weapons bag. I saw that. Um, I might just quickly double check. Now, I'm almost a thousand percent sure the breaking these down just gives you polymers. Yeah, and not wheels. It used to be the case a long time ago, but not so much anymore. Cook and grab you, scrap you for some stones to repair my axe with. I want to get up there. I want to grab that weapons bag. What you got for me? Hopefully a better stun button. No, but you do have some mods. Okay, well, insulated lining can just go into there for the moment. You don't really have a home, nor does the four times scope mod, so we'll just kind of carry those around with us. I should probably go home and drop all this stuff off. I am carrying a fair bit of extra garbage I probably don't need on me. I'm going to find this acid. 
Where am I going to find this acid? I normally have like at least a couple. I, I know in my head. Guys, okay, Tripper Titties, how you doing? I normally know in my head that I need acid. In fact, that's probably a bad place to go and raid. Try and find some. So I usually keep a couple around just in case. This time I've got none. And I'm regretting that. Just do the same thing we always do. Put a ladder down just out the front. That's... Does that count as two blocks? That might be a bit dicey, actually. Oh, well, we're going to leave it there for the moment. Up we go and put all our stuff back in its home. Always leave that two block gap at the bottom of the ladder. Just so if zombies do cruise up, you're not going to get yourself in a bit of trouble. In fact, I need one of you, don't I? I need one of those to put my bike together. You guys are all bike gubs. What else do I need to make that wheel? There's no point in me going cavaliering around without the stuff to put it together when it all uh, push comes to shove. So I need polymers, oil, coal, and acid. So I need those uh, polymers back. I needed like 10, I think it was. No, it was like 16. 16 of you. I needed 10 coal. So I'll grab you. And what was the other one? Oh, then it was the acid as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Stripper titties has gone MIA. She's no longer around. Ooh, working cement mixer though, just next door. We'll go here. We'll go mark that. We'll go cement. Just in case we do need that later on down the deck. Yeah, there's no workman here either. Apparently, the Super Titty showed up, just like shook some questionable things at a bunch of the, of the blokes. They all took off for an extended lunch break. I'm sure she's out there somewhere wringing them dry like a particularly soggy sponge. You up there, buddy? Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. I've been to this POI several times before. Ooh, that's an interesting way for you to die. I'm not sorry about it. But yeah, I feel like every time I've come here before, I have found a bottle of acid. So it's all just a means to an end. There is some good loot here. <laughs> you know what? You give me a bottle of acid now, I'll leave and all the zombies can have the loot to themselves. Give me some acid. No. no. Oh, I can sew for lots of dollar redos though. Yes, please. Always check the upstairs shotgun Messiah crate in case there's something that's actually helpful to our survival. Nine bullets. Normally, that would be a good time. For this one, not so much. I see over there. But we're still relying... Oh, that's a terrible shot. We're still relying an awful lot on bows and actually getting some stealth shots done like going mono a mono with an awakened dangerous zombie with the stun button is basically a death sentence i've already been i've already had my jaw rattled several times over the journey so i'm not particularly confident going in and trying to be brave and front up against zombies that seems like a really bad idea to me so still relying on the age-old op stealth logic that we were rolling with in agility I mean, it works, you know? You can't deny that stealth is really good in this game. It does the job, it kills zombies easily. It's a smart cricket. Oh, I lost that arrow though. Oh, there it is, the first of the Jaboodle Purple Die. I'll grab you. I'm not gonna put Jaboodle Purple Die on my stun button. It does not deserve it. You know what, I'm gonna give it to the MVP. The most, the most important thing that I'll ever own is what gets the Jaboodle Purple Die, and that, at the moment, is my bow. I was just talking about that. Search all the backpacks and things for... Nope, nothing in you. All right, it's got to be the kitchen, though. It's got to be the kitchen. Come on. Damn it, I don't need bloody nitro powder. I need acid. Anyway, oh, some more water purple dye. I'm being inundated with this stuff now. That's not okay, though. That's not what I'm here for. I know you're trying to, like, distract me by giving me other things that I love. I need some acid, please. Stop trying to, like, shine something in my eyes. Give me something shiny and pretty and lure me off into the woods somewhere. Just working my way around the back of this place to see if I can catch them all napping, which I seem to be able to do reasonably well. Bond's about level 9. I've got two skill points to spend on what I don't know, but I have them to spend at the very least. Okay, we made it all the way down to the loot room. Art of Marley in Volume 4. Uh, craft Blackstrap Coffee, a super strong coffee. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll read you, but I'll take you to sell. Need to put that Woodle Purple Dye into something, so I guess my axe. There you go. Sure, why not? Enjoy that. I think you can get acid out of the trash and things, so it's always worth double checking. Some more lockpicks and some painkillers are never a bad time. If it's not particularly what I'm after, I'll take the bando. Don't need the ground alcohol. Hmm. That hasn't gone especially well for me. That has, though. There's a new bow, some ammo, some more nuggies for lots of dollar redos, some diamonds, also for some dollar redos. All right, not particularly terrible. Not an especially great raid, if I'm being completely honest. Found some decent stuff, like what? Got some mods, got some diamonds and things, got a better axe, and some bellows as well, which is a good time. Oh, this is a whole wandering horde. Look, then they're stuck in the garage over there and still filtering through. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to try and figure this out with the stun button and see if it's going to work for us. As long as I get the jiggle going, I should be reasonably okay. All right, there comes the rest of those. I heard someone out the back here, though. Is it stripper tease? Has she come back? Nah, it's just owls. 
Fair enough then. Get you jiggling. Get you dead. I mean, it's okay. It's not great. It's doing the job, I suppose. This is going to be interesting, though, because it is knackering my stamina. But I want the XP, though. I always want the extra XP. Can I boss? How you doing? Dodge ya. Almost missed ya. Get your jiggling like the best of them. Oh, yeah, there we go. See this? This is what's going to happen to all of yous. It was a little dicey, but we managed to make it through. We're doing okay. Uh, I guess I'll go drop all this stuff off again. Can I make acid? Can I, can I make acid then? No, I didn't think I could. You've got to find it somewhere. I just, I'm just not having any luck. I'm just not having any luck. We are so close. We are a bee stick away from having what we need. And we're just getting shown the middle finger and told to sit and spin. You know what? Let's do this then. Let's just do this. Let's just keep raiding places that have any sort of sinks or cupboards or toilets or anything. Somewhere where someone might be keeping a bottle of sulfuric goodness. Keeps you. Get you jiggling. One, two, and then there you go. So like, there's probably like something about finding a rhythm with the stun button that might make it a little bit better. Like trying to... <gasps> Trying to start from scratch doesn't seem to work out very well. Get you crafting away. Finally got the bloody acid, lads. We finally got it. I heard the call that I wanted from the bloody, um, the fire station. And sure enough, I'm going in to find what I need. Oh, thank God. We finally got it. The wheel is now done. I can put the bicycle together in my own hot little hands. Oh, yes. Okay. So, that is going to enable me to pedal up the little road over here, just next to my house even, and head back up to the north and see what's going on over there. Continue on my journey from way down here. It's been a long heckin' ride so far, but hopefully on the other end of this little golden tarmac road over here, I might find another traded potato. So, I'll quickly duck on home. I'll ditch the stuff that I don't need right now and grab the stuff out of my sellables box, which I left in the corner. Just go like that. That ladder is such a good thing. Right, all of you guys go away. I can sell... I want to keep the ammo for the moment just in case. I'll keep you. I will keep you. And you can go into my forge. Like... No, wait. You need some more fuel. Sorry. Can't put you in there because they're still crafting stuff. So I guess you'll just wait. You can just hang out in there for a little while. Right, what else can I leave behind? Get through there, please. You go in. Um... I know I should keep the diamonds for diamond sit mods later on down the track, but I'm less keen on that. I'll keep the anvil to smelt you down later on. No, no, you go there. You can hang out there till I find something to put you in, so the rest of you, but most of this stuff can come with me and get sold. Mm, yep, like that. Yep, okay, nice. Actually, before I forget, I did find the grilled meat recipe, didn't I? I put my grill in there. Grilled meat, there you are. Don't know how much fuel I need. There's four minutes of it. I'm going to need two, so we'll take you out of there. That's... Sure, whatever. Fine. I'll waste some fuel. That's not so bad. I'm a little bit nervous about that, though, because a campfire and a forge running at the same time is going to rise, uh, get a rise out of my uh, my heat index pretty quickly, so a screamer might show up, but I am going to get out of here before that happens. Don't think I'm leaving anything behind. No, I think I'm all good. I need to wait until I find something to put these things into before I sell them. I've got both the Blundy Boys... Nothing else in there. All right, let's get going. Let's get cracking. Don't even know if there's a trader up there, but I'm hoping there will be. Grab you. Let's just stick you on the roof. Let's start out on a bicycle journey in the coolest fashion by jumping it off a roof onto another car because I'm freaking a BMX king. There we go. There we go. And away we go. Off into the horizon. I hope the next town isn't too far away. Given how far this town was, it could be a long hike. Look at that. A long hike before I find anything. But fingers and toes is crossed. It won't be too far away. Oh, it wasn't far at all. It was just like just around the corner. And sure enough, there is another town. So I'll just ride straight on in, all brave and such, and see what I can come across. Got some antennas. Got a shamway factory i think that is yeah it is i think i also saw a shotgun messiah factory not that i'm <laughs> really gonna be raiding a factory anytime soon but it's always good to know where they are just in case you want to challenge yourself for some pretty pitiful loot if i'm being honest what i'm looking for what i would love is some more book houses here maybe a, a cathedral or something that would be a good thing to have somewhere i might be able to find the mods that i need to make to make my stun button a little bit better because there are those stun button specific mods that might make it a much better time to use anything else through the rest of the town doesn't really look like make sure you're looking where you're going just run into an uh inopportune zombie oh is that trader joel oh, i think that's a trading compound over there 
And is it a book house next to him? No, it's not. It's a different house. Okay, that's fine. Don't mind me. Just cruising through. Trady Potaty. Just what I needed on the outskirts of town. Thank you very much. Well, I come to you loaded up with dollary doos and things to sell. I'm out to be your best friend. Oh, another health bar, some hackers. Mm, nah, okay, that's fine. Don't need that. I'll check your stations, though. See what you got for me. See if you got anything worthwhile. Oh, my God. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, game. That's... That is, like, quintessential seven days. That is bog stock standard seven days to die. Hey, Josh, you know how you just spent, like, eight years trying to find this thing? Well, wouldn't it be hilarious if I just gave it to you for three, four seconds later? Wouldn't that be funny? Also impressive run up those says that looking at the screen. Hilarious game. Absolutely tits on fire hilarious. You sack of shit. Here, take all of this. Take all these things. Buy all the gubs off me, please, because I want some money. Sell that, sell that, sell that, and sell you. I have almost $5,000 redos. What you got for me? Batten parts? No. And did I stun anything? No. Got bullet cases and things, but I don't have a gun. Hmm, got oil, got springs, got all sorts of fun stuff, but nothing that I really need, I don't think. <gasps> Tech Junkie Volume 1. Robotic weapons with 10% more damage. I mean, it's a $1,000 reduce, but it's a book in the series that helps my skill tree. It's expensive, but... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, before I saw the stuff, I should have checked in here. I can't go next to the Bill of Barter, but I could if I go here. Buy you. Glasses give me tier 5. And then I can buy that one. Should have that before I sold all the stuff. But that's okay. You live and learn. Hey, if you're not me, make sure you do that before you sell things. But now I can buy that book for much cheaper. I'll buy that one. Well, for $50 cheaper. I need it anyway, so I will buy it. Ooh, what else he got for me? I'm making sure I check his various levels of whatever to see. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on a second. Oh, we can do it. We can bloody do it. So, okay, this is like... A bit convoluted, so try and bear with me for a second. Something I've explained before, and lots of people had tra had trouble with it. So I'll try and explain this properly so that you all understand what I'm doing. So at tier 3, better barter, you can see it says at the bottom of the paragraph there, I can't hover over it and show you because it will disappear. Trader's secret stash shows better loot. So at tier 3 of better barter, there's better stuff in his secret stash. So if I go here, you'll see he has SMG turrets. He's got some pretty good stuff actually now. What have we got? Sniper, like a little volume 5. Nothing for my skill tree. I was hoping you might have, like, a stun... I don't know, not a stun... A, um, a junk turret or a sledgy boy or something like that, but... Doesn't look like you're going to. But, really importantly, if I now Next go time, and take off survivor. my nerdy glasses... Because my nerdy glasses give me plus one intellect, so I take those off... You'll see that my intellect level is now level 4. Which means... I can't actually use my tier 3 uh, better barter because that needs to be tier 5 intellect, but it's dropped down to 4 without the glasses on. Which means that now, at level 2 better barter, he doesn't have the better secret stash, so I can access that one as well. So you get a... And look at that. There's a tech junkie book in this one. It's a bit more expensive, but that's fine. AP Robotic Time Arrow. I mean, it's the book for my series, so sure. But I can access both versions of his secret stash by taking my glasses on and off. So that's something I've done before, but people have got confused. Hopefully that made a bit more sense. Super useful if you're looking for something particular. Just having extra things to choose from, always a good thing. He doesn't have anything particularly exciting either. Does have a very supplies to the south. I was looking for a proper job to the south. Could be back in, like, the town I live in. So I'll take you... All right, sure enough. Where's that going to be? Just on the side of the road back down to town. All right, cool bananas, lad. I'll get on that well, at some point today. We're going to go there right now, though, because there's a whole rest of the town for me to go exploring into. Jump back on the bike and get a pedal and get those spaghetti legs cranking and get good to try and find something around here. I just want to be able to find uh, the rest of... The recipes for those mods... I saw that. That looks like a cathedral. It's quarter to six at night. The library's like the first room you go into. The lot. Oh, the cathedral's a big raid. 
It's a big raid, but I want the recipes. And I was saying as I was rolling into this town that I would love it if I could find myself a library or something to find those schematics or at least have a chance of finding them. So I feel like the gods have heard me and generously given me the POI I was asking for. Been rude to turn it down. I could just raid the library for it though. A means to an end. I just want to find the recipe for a stun repulsor mod. I want to make it for myself to make my stun button worthwhile. Oh, I, mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. I'll raid the library. I won't raid the rest of the POI. I know it like it feels dirty. It feels cheap on actually going through the whole thing properly, but I just need the books. I'm just a book fiend. I'm looking for knowledge. Skirt around the side so we don't fall down through the fake uh, floor just there. You can kind of tell that it's a fake floor because it's like the same pattern repeating in a 3x3 three three block. That's how you know it's going to be a big death trap like that. Get rid of that though, and you can have your way with all the Muppets downstairs. Bonds are mate level 10. Got another skill point to spend. You're getting the skill points left, right, and center. Um, oh, come on, how did that not hit you in the scone? <laughs> the, uh, the cathedral's looking a little bit emptier than I was hoping it would. There's not a whole lot of books going around for me. In fact, there's basically none. That's not good. Uh, right, so the whole... No, oh, there's one there. Thank God for that. What have you got for me? Archery Volume 1, uh, Load District to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from target. That is actually useful, so I'll read you. It's not the one useful needle and thread book. Learn how to craft puffer coat, so I will sell you. There's a bookshelf there as well. I'll sell that one too. You can see, like, as I get better, better levels of better barter, I do get better prices for things as well, so you can make more money going forward. I'll have that snack, thank you. I think I also found some water around here, which I wouldn't mind guzzling down. I did. I'll leave you in there, and I'll leave you in there. Yeah, that's just a severe lack of books. Not nearly as many books as there used to be. That is a damn crying shame. Come on, surely. What are you? Shock of Messiah Volume 2. Special Ammunition. The Breaching Rounds. I'm going to use those, so I'll sell that book. What have you got? Armor Pocket Mod. I will read that. I can make them for myself. And Sniper. Learn how to craft Hollow Point 762s. I'll sell you as well. No, come on. There's got to be something better in here. There's got to be something worthwhile. Anything at all. Urban Comet Volume 6. Armor doesn't slow you down. Yeah, okay. I'll read you and sell you. That is honestly one of the most empty cathedrals I've ever been into. There was absolutely nothing going on for me at all there. That is a damn shame. I don't even need the last one. I'm going to quickly grab the hidden stash. Come on. There you go. Hidden stash behind the window. For nothing. Already wearing T3 boots. So I'll just scrap you for the, the cloth fragments. All right. That's all I needed. That's all I wanted. There is plenty more in this POI, but I was really only here for books and there wasn't many bookcases anyway. So yeah, nah, lad. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here and jump back on my bicycle because I want to ride my bike. Hmm. I wonder, can I make it back to Trade Erect? Oh, I might be able to. I might be able to. All right, I'll quickly go. I'll try and get back to my trade potato, back to my trade erect, because if I can get back there before he closes up shop today, I can access his super secret stash, the extra secret stash I unlocked, and maybe there's something worthwhile in there for me. It's worth a crack. I've got, what, two hours to pedal back home. It's a fair hike, but we're going to give it our best shot. There's my house. I'll be inside you in a second. The last time I said that, it was to Arlene, and she then told me, no, thank you. I have 17 cowboys in line first. I'm actually making a pretty good time making it back to uh making it back to Trader Potato. And I've got I am kind of realizing that this this week of hardcore specialist especially is like going more back to like a traditional Jabudal episode of like not being as much of a tutorial and more just me clowning about in the apocalypse and trying to figure out what the hell to do. But I kind of spec like point that out in the beginning that I don't know how to play Insta because I've never played it before. This is a journey of discovery for me as well. All right, here we go, bud. I'm all the way back. So hopefully you guys are learning something just like I am. All right, you, real quick. Please take that and that and that and that and that. All right, what is in your, and where are my goals? What is in your super secret stash? More, uh, magnum Enforcer, 10% more damage to 44s. Don't have them, so no thank you. Polymer String Mod. Wow, you're expensive. Holy God. Just like slap my titties and milk me dry. That's a lot of dollary dues for a schematic. Um, as valuable as he knows how valuable it is though, because that is something that is actually a pretty good time. A tier one stun button. I will buy you because I can scrap you into baton parts. Maybe at some point I can make myself a slightly better one, despite how useless it will continue to be. 
Uh, electrical parts, sugar plate, no, not really much else. Do have a pistol for a lot of money, but yeah, nah, no thanks. I was hoping you'd have some sort of robo friend for me, but you don't. You don't. You got nothing Don't for me there, Chief. Deal's done. Now, <sighs> remember search for right thing? Yeah, robotics sledge, robotics and fences. Well, I have to just like work on crafting my own then. So, okay, so Terror the Turret needs its own schematic, but I can make a robo sledge just by spending a skill point. Well, I have a skill point, so okay. You can deploy, you can deploy multiple turrets, but only the closest will be active. Unlocks robot sledge uh, turret. Okay, that's fair enough. And robot uh, robots are active uh, for 14 meters. 10% more damage, 30% faster fire rate, and an extra 10 rounds doesn't really help me. Okay, well, I have a skill point. Ooh, potentially though, could get a mini bike up and going. We're getting close to a motorbike. I don't ever really bother with the 4x4 or the gyro. Gyros are super useful, but like a, a motorbike is actually really good. Probably the most useful and versatile vehicle in the game, in my opinion. So let's go this one. What do you need for you? I need robotic parts. Well, that doesn't fucking help me because I've got none. I can't even buy any anyway. Oh, 60. I mean, I guess I can start like preparing to maybe find some at some point. Didn't have any, did ya? I already searched the other boy. Nope, nothing there. Make sure we double check his other stash, just in case we missed something last time around. Check here. Robot. Nope, nothing. You are just a waste of my time there, Sunny Jim. You are just a waste of all of my time and effort. I'll scrap that C1 stun down to three parts. Okay. <laughs> Not the way I was hoping today would go. At least we found another tradie, but... Oh, man. That's, uh... This is gonna get dicey. What the hell are we gonna do for a horde night? What are we gonna do? I got, oh, I don't have, I don't have any idea. God, no. Home sweet home again. Got lots of steaky boys in there for me. I'm particularly hungry right now, but I appreciate it anyway. I need to go through and sort out my inventory because I am all over the place right now. I do have 25 nails, but also more importantly, I can make myself some nails out of here because I have the thing smelted into it. I might even do that, actually. Let's go. But real quick, let's put you into there. That gives me 50% forging spell speed. So the things burn in even faster. And the anvil gives me crafting speed. The crucible unlocks steel stuff. So that's important down the track. But you can have that. I'll make myself... Wow. I used all my iron. Okay. Well, I should have some more somewhere. I'll even just scrap you and take you. There we go. And start smelting you into there because I need some more, please. Turn you on. So I want to make myself like maybe like 15 nails, I think, is probably the way to go. So I can have four boxes. Craft you. Thank you. Get you pumping out like that. I'm going to sort out my storage and actually know where all my shit is. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. I'm picking up my campfire and putting it on top of my land claim block. Just because it's kind of in the way otherwise. All you guys into there. I'll put my food. Actually, how am I going to sort this out? Let's start clearing out this room a little bit more so I can see what we actually have to work with. I can move the bedroll. I can get rid of the rest of this stuff. That's pretty fine. Uh, do you get wrenched down, I think? Yeah, you do. Making that nice little rotation action so I know I'm getting better parts out of it rather than just breaking it down for iron. Get some electrical parts. Yep, good. So I think just like putting some boxes on the back wall there is the way to go. I can keep that box as my sellables for the moment. Upgrade it later on. But that should be fine. Always go with the writable storage box because the other ones are a nuisance not having any way to actually write on them. Right, you can be like my materials like that. There we go. Look, we always spelt it right for a change. Good job, me. That can be food and first, uh, food and health. I always name it slightly differently, but you know what I'm talking about. Food and health goes in there. This can be like tools and parts. I don't know what I'm going to use for this one yet. I don't know. I'll leave it there for the moment and kind of sort it out as I go. Take all of that. Uh, I don't want to have that one there, actually. And to slow but surely go through and put, give everything their home. The nice thing about these buttons these days is that you don't have to do it once. Then you just slowly add to it as time goes on. You don't have to worry about every time you come over from a raid individually sorting stuff. Makes life so much better and so much easier. That's all food stuff. Uh, you can just get scrapped, actually. You can go into the tools. Oh, that's probably like ammo and weapons. Yeah, that's not the right thing. Ammo and where the, my spelling ability is gone out the window. I had it for four seconds. It was nice and now it's gone. 
Yeah, I can put the rest of you guys into there like that. Yeah, now nah, good. So I'm kind of curious now. So you can see like, so this major road comes up from where I spawned all the way up to this town and continues on like through this T intersection here up to the next one. I should probably actually mark Trader Potato up here. Let's go here, go Trady like that. But it also juts off to the right over here. It might end just there, but I wouldn't mind exploring the rest of my town anyway and seeing what's going on. But if I follow that, there might be another town out here. It's, it often happens sometimes with the way the world generation works that often you have, especially in a temperate biome, but even just kind of along the world, it's kind of like like a patchwork, you know? It kind of goes like town, gap, town, gap, town, gap. You often find like kind of a grid system of the towns, which kind of makes it more predictable in finding them. I'm kind of surprised that there might have been something here that I didn't see on the way through. I'm surprised there's that big of a gap through there, but I'm hoping that that means that the towns up this end are a bit more concentrated. So I might even, first thing tomorrow, I might go and have a squiz out that way and see if there's another town, hopefully like out there somewhere. And if there's not, I'll just turn around and come back home and do the buried supplies quests because I need to keep turning over jobs with tradie. I need better tradie jobs, I need better rewards. I need to find either a better stun button one of my robotic friends or some mods that will make it more viable. Because as it stands at the moment, I'm fighting a horde with maybe a pistol if I find one and a stun button. Not great. Doesn't bode particularly well for me, but I'll have to try and uh, overcome the hurdles that are placed in front of me in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.